Okay, hello, Friday, 27 July. Now we're sightseeing today, or well, this morning anyway. First today, I have to do a little bit of bookkeeping for my company. <laughs> Even though there's not been a big activity, I still need to send in the bookkeeping, so that's what we're doing today. No uh, adventure or sightseeing, just uh, normal office work here in our room. So uh, it looks like we'll be staying here a few more days because our Tajikistan EVs are valid actually from the 1st of August. So uh, we've been trying to see if we can get them changed, but uh, haven't got no response yet. So looks like we may be here a few more days. But now we're now we're eager to get going again, get some real biking again and start camping again and all these things you can do on the Pami Highway that we've been missing here in the heat in Uzbekistan. But as soon as we start climbing we should be cooling down again. So, so that's it really. I think maybe this evening when I've finished with all the paperwork here we'll be try and go and see Rajasthan Square maybe in the evening. I think it should be quite nice all the, the lights and things. So maybe we'll do that but uh, so far today not too much going on. Apart from actually Meadow and Jamie there having a massage in the um, massage place next door. That sounds good. <laughs> Maybe I'll do the same later when I'm finished in here. So, But yeah, today just normal office stuff. Listening to BBC Two, Chris Evans' breakfast show, even though it's what, 1 o'clock? Oh, 20 past 1 here. I can still listen to the Chris Evans' breakfast show in England. <laughs> in the, it's four hours ahead of uh, London at the moment here. Three hours ahead of Denmark, so uh, amazing. Just uh, lunchtime here, still listening to the breakfast show in, in England that I used to listen to in my own office. So, so that's it for now. Well, maybe we'll uh, do a bit of sightseeing later. Okay. So today we haven't done a lot. Um, Alan has been doing some of his uh, accounts for his company, even though he has been doing a lot of work the last few months. But there was still some account things that had to be done here, the half year accounting thing. Anyway, uh, in the meantime, Jamie and I went uh, next door to the hotel that was a massage place. So we had a really good massage all over the body. It was very nice. And it only cost 40 Danish kroner, that is uh, four pounds. Uh, and we were there for over an hour, but resting and sleeping half the time, but it was really good. And we were totally tired afterwards <laughs> and aching everywhere. So, yes, yeah. and now it's my turn. Yeah. Okay, today there are exciting thing we are seeing today. We have Daddy have seen on BBC News that they say there are a blood moon today, and that means the moon will be hopeful be wet or yellow, and that is the best place to see it is in Central Asia, and we are in Central Asia, mm. so today there will be a good fun today. <laughs> so we'll see if we can get a picture of that. Maybe we'll see. Ah. Uh, and then uh, now we're going to go to the bazaar, have a look all around there, and then we'll go back to Ridgestone Square this evening and see it in the in the nighttime. Should be quite nice, but it's all lit up. So, okay, let's go. Bye bye. <laughs> Yeah, yesterday I showed you a painting of the ancient bazaar that was here next to the mosque. So now we're going to see the modern day bazaar that's here. Let's go and have a look. Lots of nuts and figs and dried fruits. Yeah, if you want to buy nuts, this is the place to come and get them. Nuts everywhere. All kinds of nuts and dried fruit at every store. <laughs> Now we're back once again, Registan Square. This time in the evening, to see with all the lights in. Waiting for the moon to appear. There should be a blood moon this evening. I'm not sure what time. I haven't seen the moon yet. Is it every time we come here, there's a wedding going on? Another one down here. Seems to be the place to come for your wedding photos. Okay, now it's time for ice creams. 
keeping an eye on the moon over there. That's the moon. And the blood moon should be uh, extremely good to see in Central Asia at quarter to 11 this evening. So a couple of hours to wait now. Yeah. Maybe Meta's not going to make that. Oh, He's tired already. <laughs> oh, once again. Town is live. Need a Friday evening here. There's the moon up there, still waiting for that to turn red. All of activity again here. Yeah. Children buying ice creams and egg boards and I know it's about quarter past ten in the evening. It's outside the Bibi Canoe Mosque here. Waiting for the, uh, the blood moon that should be, I think about 11 o'clock right now, I think. So, the good thing about seeing a lunar eclipse in Uzbekistan is you don't have to worry at all about whether it's going to be cloudy. Because I haven't seen a single cloud since we arrived in Uzbekistan. It's actually last uh, over six hours. Starting here now, quarter past ten. I think it was on until half past four in the morning. So, be at its maximum at uh, about half past one. Uh, not sure whether I'll be staying awake for that. But, uh, see if I can see a little bit now in the next half an hour. 